everyone, this is Tim from Your Sick Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 5 air code CE108262-9. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. Now, PlayStation recommends you update the system software. So to do this, we're manually going to do it in safe mode. So my PlayStation 5 is turned on, indicated by this white light. I'm going to hold down the power button right here, and I will hear one beep initially, and then I'll hear a second beep. Now my PlayStation 5 is going to turn off. Now the first thing we're going to do is actually clear the cache. Now I'm going to flip my PlayStation 5 around, and then I'm going to unplug it from the wall outlet for approximately one minute, and then plug everything back in. Now wait until the light completely stops blinking. So it stopped blinking and I'm unplugging it now and a minute went by and I'm plugging it back in. So flip your PlayStation 5 around now, locate the power button and hold this down. You will hear one beep initially and then about 10 seconds later you will hear a second beep. Now my PlayStation 5 will launch into the safe mode menu. To operate the safe mode menu, you need to have your PlayStation 5 controller plugged in with a USB cable. So let's plug this in, then press the PlayStation button, and then use the D-pad to operate the safe mode menu. So this is safe mode. We can do things like change the resolution, clear cache, rebuild database, update the system software, etc. So two things under here we want to go ahead and try. The first one is to go to option number three, update system software. Now go to the update from USB drive. You can do it manually if you download it from the PlayStation website. Otherwise you can simply go to update using internet. So make sure you do this one. Update using internet and then try out your game. Then back out of here and go to clear cache and rebuild database. Go to option number two under here, rebuild database. Now, it says it will take a few hours to rebuild the database, but my experience only takes about five minutes. So select OK, and your PlayStation 5 will now go ahead and restart. It will bring you to a screen where there's a countdown timer, and it will say like seven minutes. Hopefully, this quick video did indeed help you guys out. Did go and leave a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.